YouTube, it's your boy Legendary EA and we are back here for another video and today we got episode number 14 of the Nyx My GM and if you guys have been following along, you guys would already know in the last episode we went over some potential trades, we also uh, showed you guys Jalen Brunson and we just went through a lot of things and just talked about the future of this series and which types of decisions that I wanted to make so if you guys missed the episode make sure you go ahead and check it out, there'll be a link to it in the description below as well as an annotation in the top right hand corner of the screen but other than that you guys we are back here so if you guys enjoy this series make sure you go ahead and yo right now right now right now i said that three times because i really want you guys to hear it if you guys enjoy this video drop a like on it you guys let's get 200 likes for for episode number 15 um and today we're gonna be making a trade i mean it's close to the trading deadline y'all it's close to the trade deadline and today i do want to make sure to go ahead and reach that um but, yo, make sure you go ahead and like it up. Hit the subscribe button if you guys are new. And leave me some ideas to rebuild and which types of moves we should make in this series in the comment section below. But other than that, let's get straight into this episode. Because last one, I did talk about getting Sharif O'Neal. I also talked about uh, me going to that custom setting, to those custom sliders. And a lot of people actually agreed with me on that, that I should be using uh, these sliders inst instead of Hall of Fame, just because it is going to make things a little bit more difficult. It is, it is going to make things a little bit more difficult, as well as the ball security is just better. Uh, so we are going to be rocking with that. Other than that, a lot of people did say that we should go after Sharif O'Neal. I did see one comment saying that we should stick with Julius Randle uh, because he's better at defense. But on 2K, his defensive ratings are not the best. Not at all. And... I also, and also in this in this trade, I want to keep Julius Randle. And I, I always have been saying that Julius Randle, he is just a bridge towards what I want to actually achieve. And let's say he works out, then we just have a nice person to come off of the bench in Sharif O'Neal. If he does not work out, um, then we have Sharif who is going to be developing. Somebody said to put Sharif in, in the G League. I'm probably not going to be doing that. Um, I do want to actually play him and get some minutes since he's not been playing on the Orlando Magic. Uh, but yo, currently we are on a seven game winning streak, which is great for us. So let's hurry up and let's see if we can make this trade. You feel me? Now I I'm looking at the Orlando Magic's uh, roster because obviously this, this series is supposed to be at least kind of realistic and we addressed it in last one because Sharif was a first round pick, but he ain't touching the court. So looking at their roster, um, we can only trade so many people. And one thing that I do need to turn off, though, is I know I normally have trade restrictions on, but this has to be turned off because I do know that Luke Rittenhauer, since I am a Wolves fan, this man was traded three times in one day. So that can definitely happen. Everything else I am going to leave the same because I do know that uh, after you after you do sign a contract, you do got to wait a little while unless it's like a sign-in trade. So we are going to go ahead and turn that off. But other than that, um, Mo Harkless... I wouldn't mind bringing him back next season on the minimum, but if we could use him in this trade, I'd, I'd be down for it. Um, getting Ike, honestly, I would I would prefer to trade Ike over Thomas Bryant, but Sharif is a power forward, and he's not and he's their third or fourth string power forward. So Thomas Bryant, I believe. Let's look at the roster. Looking at this team. Oh, all right. Currently, they, they do need a backup center, I, I would say, because Bismack Biyombo, obviously, they're not bringing him back. He's 27, and he's coming off a year of making $17 million. So they would probably be willing to, to take on a Thomas Bryant, who is 22 and can play or, in the future, replace Nikola Vucevic because trading them, Ike, makes no sense. Ike still wouldn't play here. Uh, they have Harrell. Obviously, they have, they, have, they have Aaron Gordon, who's literally their best player. I don't see them doing that. Taking a small forward... Even even if Sharif is a small forward, he still ain't getting ticked because it's Jonathan Isaac, Glenn Robinson, and just all of these guys. They have a bunch of shooting guards. Hopefully, they don't try to get me Mario Hinzonia because that would be an L. And Trey Young is also hurt as well. So, you know, other than that, let's see if we can actually make this trade happen. Um, like I said, I do want to keep this thing realistic. I'm not going to be giving them a major bag. Nah, nothing like that. I'm not doing all that. So, looking at Sharif O'Neal. Um, last time I, last time I checked, he didn't play any games and I also got to change one thing before I do that, because I, I don't think that this roster was updated by the time that I even got to it. Sharif is going to UCLA. So let me just go ahead and make that, you know, it's just, it's, it's a small little thing, man. He's going to UCLA. So let's go ahead and let's fix that real quick. 
it's a quick and easy fix. It's not really a big problem because he was committed to Arizona for the longest until the whole DeAndre Ayton thing happened. But let's go. Yeah, it's taking forever. Taking forever. I passed it. Come on. All right, UCLA. There we go. He he and he's in the ball out there. He's definitely gonna be balling out there. But yo, know, let's get into this trade, into this proposed trade. And let's see what I can actually do. I'm looking at this. I'm looking at a trade where, where obviously we get Sharif O'Neal. I slide you guys Thomas Bryant. I slide you guys a 2023 first round pick that, that is unprotected. And as well as a second round pick. I think this is more than enough for somebody who has not played on y'all's team. He's not, he's not played. Actually, he has played. He has played. He played on one minute. In one game this entire season, your 23rd overall pick, he's played one game this entire season where he, he recorded two points. And you guys have not played him since. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> I think that this is more than fair. Uh, they do give me this counter offer where, where we get Mario and Zonia. Nah, I don't want Mario, all right? I don't, I don't want Mario, and I, I don't think that's even, like, a fair trade, just to be real with you. Two hours later. This is the most that I can even offer you guys. And honestly, I think that I'm giving up way too much. I think that I'm giving up way too much. But based off of, off of potential, he's really athletic. He's a, He has an 83 open shot three. 87 vertical, 83. If this works out, I'm... <sighs> guys, let me know what you guys think about that in the comment section below. The only reason why we've made... The only reason why we even make that trade is solely because of his potential. And the fact that I know that with those, with, with those picks, we we could easily, like, I do plan on us making the playoffs for, for the rest of this series and potentially us even being title contenders. And, and at that point, those two first-round picks, those are the last of our worries. So, let me know what you guys think about that. I, I definitely gave up way too much. But if Sharif does become a superstar, then it's definitely going to be worth it. We're going to give him number 23. I do believe he wore 23 once. Instead of him wearing 34 like, like his dad, I do think that he wore 23 once. So we're going to go ahead and rock with that. Other than that, I'm going to go ahead and customize him real quick. I do know that he he does wear a lot a, a lot of Jordans during like games. So if we can find a nice colorway, that's red. Um, if if we can find some like crazy for like him to wear. Matter of fact, they don't have like the uh f the uh fragment ones. Nah, that kind of looks weird. Um, he can wear 11s. Even though I I think I did Michael Porter wearing 11s, but he he can wear these. And then during away games. He can wear, he can wear Lashi. During away games, he, he can wear some 12s. Where, where, where the 12s at? Or am I blind? Let's try that out. All right, so we are done customizing him. He's rocking number 23. Like I said, grade that move in the comment section below. But with that being said, this is what we're going to be doing. Uh, they can they can adjust that for right now. All right, I'm gonna have Ike come. I'm gonna have Ike play play center. I'm gonna have Ike play center for us. So, um, this is gonna be the lineup. See, two K already went way out the window. I did read you guys' comments. A lot of you guys want me to be playing Julius Randle at center. I like that, but I also don't like that at the same time, just because he is so small. Um. I'm not. I'm not really feeling that, to be honest. I am. I am. I am just gonna leave it how it is now. Chris stops. I have been thinking about this. I am gonna be cutting down his minutes just because he is extremely injury prone. So we will be cutting down his minutes. Uh, he can play about 35, even though that's still a bunch of minutes. But that man is. That man is injury prone. Like he gets hurt over. Oh, over damn near everything. So he can play about 35. Uh, Brando can can play about 28. I want Simmons to get about 24 off the bench. And then after him, it can go. Um, I want Sharif to, to, to get minutes to you. I'm sorry, Jalen Brunson, but he's a bigger part of the future. I also like Isaac Bonga, though. Isaac Bonga is going to be nice. Uh, Bonga can, can get about 19. 
you can get about 19 as well. Jalen Brunson. All right, yo, Ike is gonna be he's getting screwed. Ah, damn, that that honestly sucks. But I, I really want to see the starters in there a lot more. Uh, Frank, let me give you 27. Especially with Kristaps playing center, there's not going to be that many minutes for him, to be real with you. Let me actually switch that. Uh, yeah, let's try this out, man. He's not yeah, – he's getting about he's, – he's getting about – he's getting about eight minutes a game. I, 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 I'll give him nine. I'll give him nine, nine to just make this thing a little, a little bit more flair, fair. Diallo, you're not getting any minutes, B. But if we do need a sub, if we're getting, if we're getting like a blowout, then it can definitely be you. Um – but that's what we got going on, you guys. Uh, we are going to be simming a few games while we're at it. I'm not sure how this video, how long this video is going to be. Hopefully, it's not that long. These are our leading scorers real quick. And, yeah. Let's get right to it, man. We picked up Sharif O'Neal. So, hopping into this game versus the Boston Celtics. Let's see how we do in the sim cast. Can we, can we get buckets? Okay, they get us way out of there. I've never been blown out. We're on a seven-game winning streak. Okay, we're going to lose by 13. Porter dropped 38. Where did all right? Simmons off fifteen. Where did where was everybody else at? Did y'all not just show up? Like, are y'all are y'all good? Are y'all good? Like, y'all just did not show up. I need y'all to win this game. It's it's the Miami Heat. We are, we are, we are the best team in the NBA. All right, we, we get that W. KP dropped 30, 11. All right, I need y'all to be more consistent. That's that's like the only thing. I need y'all to be a lot more consistent. All right, let's work on this lineup a little bit more. Um, I am going to hop in the game versus the Celtics on January 11th. But let me just see, man. Let me just see. <clears throat> All right. It's, it's exactly the same. It just, makes it, little, it just makes it a little bit easier to, like, manage. And Isaac Bonga, I actually looked online. It says that his, he's a shooting guard in small forward. I'm going to make shooting guard his secondary position. All right. There we go. Let's try this out. And look, looking at the stats, I need I, I need y'all to put up numbers. I really need y'all. I really need y'all to just put up a lot of numbers. Come on, y'all. Put up numbers. That's what I'm talking about. 34, 33, 35. These are all the types of games that we need to have. Now that final quarter could have been better, but yo, Kristaps needs to average more points. And Barrett is not. He's not been playing as as good. Porter at 31, 14, and five. Simmons had 23, Chris Ups with 17 and 5. Uh, Randall with 14, O'Neal with 14, Barrett with 13, 3. Come on. Come on, y'all. I I need I, I need more. I need a whole lot more. And for that to happen, this is what I'm gonna do. Alright, I'm gonna I'm just gonna give his minutes back. If 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 he gets hurt, that's on him. That, that's all I, I gotta say that if he gets hurt, that's on him. All right, I am going to hop into this game, though. I am going to hop into this game, just depending on how it's going. Hopefully, it's going well for us. All right, it's actually a close game. I am going to hop in, in the fourth quarter. We got the lead. It's really close. There's about four minutes left. We're up by 12 points. Right now, KP, all right, so the scoring is actually it's actually pretty spread out. It's actually pretty spread out. Bear has 18. K KP has 21. Porter has 15. All right, let's jump in this game. And for them, Kyrie has 20. Let's just let's just keep this lead. So one so one possibility that we actually could could be making you guys, uh, you guys already know the settings I'm using. But one thing that we actually could be doing is we could like I did see a comment saying that us that 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 we should think about putting Sharif in the G League. So let me know if we should do that for the rest of the season. Because we are definitely going to be making the playoffs, and we, we, we could use somebody like him in the playoffs, especially if he is developing. So, yo, let me know because I know that sending people to the G League, <clears throat> like, their, their morale goes all the way down, but their overall gets so much better. So let me know what you guys feel about that in the comment section below. Obviously, looking at Anthony Simmons, he's still pissed at us, but he went up like six or seven or eight overall is playing in, in, in the G League. So let me know what you guys think about that. That is definitely a possibility. And that's probably going to help us to, like, be real. So let me know if you guys want me to do that. Right now we are getting easy buckets <laughs> because the Celtics just cannot hold us. But, yeah, that is definitely something that, that we actually could think about doing. Now we let that man wide open. All right. I actually – hold 
on. All right. I want this lineup. Oh, did did Kristoff foul out? I think he already fouled out. All right, whatever. Okay. Yeah, he already fouled out. So let's just keep playing. All right, what are y'all doing? This is what I want. I want Sharif right there, and then I want Julius Randle at center. Yeah, that's that's what I want on, on the next dead ball. So we're going to clamp this guy up. Oh, my gosh. That better not go in. All right, pass that off, Kuh. All right, we're going to pass it off to RJ Barrett. And he's going right in because nobody can stop him. But, yo, let me know what you guys think about us doing that with Sharif. He would definitely develop in the G League. I think right now he's at a 75. He might be able to get to a 78 or, like, an 80 by the end of the season since we did start him off pretty pretty late. But that's definitely a possibility. But his, his morale would go down. But after a while, it should come up, especially if we make him the starter. So, ooh, a little bit of jelly there. A little bit of some jelly there. Yo, all right. Okay. Michael Porter is joining Jelly Fan. All, all, all right. I actually rock with it. But let's get back in, into this game mode. Let's see if we can clamp this guy. I really don't want Joakim Noah playing. Because, like, I, I don't want to bring him back, to be honest. Mo Harkless, I'm probably going to be – I probably will bring back Mo Harkless on the minimum deal just because he can actually defend. And if we make the right free agency signing, like, we could actually be a contending team. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me just chill out. Wow, okay. Go up, please. Oh, my gosh. I wanted him to drive. He pulled up for a jumper. Okay. It's cool. It's cool. Come on, Kyrie. Oh, yeah, man. Kyrie Irving is out for the rest of the season. They just announced that, uh, like, a few hours ago, which really, really sucks. All right, so they make that. Honestly, they're not coming back. We're, we're about 13 points. They're not coming back. I'm just going to get this with Anthony Simmons. Like, they... Come on, y'all. <laughs> Come on, y'all. Y'all y'all can't stop us, all right? I'm going to keep this thing a whole buck with you. Okay, that's probably going in. Never mind, it's not. Michael Porter. All the way. Oh, I was, I was about to say. Jason Tatum. We're, 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 we're about to get you up out of here, cuz. Let's, let's knock that down. Let's knock that down, yes. We, we, we didn't get Porter's numbers up. And also, R.J. Barrett's numbers. We, we need to get all those numbers up. Um, Randall only has five points. But like I said, Randall is is a bridge. I, I don't mind him developing. But at the end of the day, he is a bridge for something better. Like Now, unfortunately, all right, come on. Clamp up. Clamp up Al Horford. Because right now, of course, of course, Jul of course, Julius Randall right now is our guy. But long term, I'm just saying because, I mean, the age thing might become a factor if we don't win a championship fast enough. So we're going to have to really, like, see about that. O'Neal, knock that down. Let's go. He has 10 and 7. That's what I'm talking about. And he and he can hit the three. And he can hit the three, which just makes things so much easier for us. All right. <clears throat> we, we're up by 19. Just clamp up. That's all you got to do. Nothing, nothing hard. That's not going in. Get that rebound. RJ Barrett got it. Passed that thing off. That oh my gosh, what was that? This man's out here looking like Tony Romo. All right, yeah, we we definitely got this in, in, in the bag. At this point, all we're doing is stat padding, and that was over the back, right? Bet, bet, easy free throws. That's money. I can already call it. And they took everybody out, huh? Please tell me they left him in. Yeah, we're good. There we go. <clears throat> Porter has 25, 7, and 8. He's doing his thing. And, uh, yo, as I was saying in the previous episode, RJ Barrett gets so many assists. Like, I, I, I honestly just love it. Like, I really do. Hey, give me that. That's light work. He has 24, 5, and, and 6. Like, he, he, he's, he's always getting assists. Like, he's probably our best passer on this entire, like, team. Maybe other than Frank, that, that was close to backcourt. Come on. I'm, I, I already see that nonsense. What's up? Come on, Terry. Come on, Terry. Clamp all that up. We play t to the buzzer. All right? 
We played to the buzzer. We're not taking it. Oh, my gosh. Man. We aren't taking it easy on nobody. Give me that. Nice rebound. Let's go. Let's go. We went 124 to 101. Walk away with the W. And, yo, just let me know what you guys thought about this episode. That trade, I know that I gave up too much on that trade. But if it works out, it's honestly gonna it's honestly going to be okay. In this game, Porter, he led our team in scoring with 25, 7, and 9 assists. The man was a beast. RJ Barrett with 24, 5, and 6. KP, 21, and 9. And four blocks. He, he would have got more, but he fouled out. Uh, Anthony Simmons with 18 points, 3 assists. <clears throat> and shooting 70% from, from the field and 50% from the three. Frank Nielakino with 10 and 4. And Sharif O'Neal at 10, 9, 3, and 1 block. And he shot 5 of 8 from the field. That man was killing it as well. Isaac Bonga with 8 points. Julius Randle with 4, 6, 3. He's doing it. He's doing, he's doing everything. Unfortunately, he didn't make a shot, which kind of sucks. But he, he did everything else. And Jalen Brunson, you guys can see all of the stats if you guys want to go ahead. Kyrie Irving led their team in scoring with 25 and 6. Three steals as well. And that's the end of this episode. It was a very, very long one. I showed you guys a little bit of gameplay. Uh, and, yo, just, just go ahead and, and let me know what you guys think about the trade. Make sure you go ahead and subscribe to my second channel in the comment section below. We picked up Sharif O'Neal. Like I said, he is a bridge. Like I said, Julius Reno is definitely a bridge. We're not, we're not really sure about him, man. We're not, we're not really sure about him. Whatever works out, works out. We're just going to have to wait and see. But other than that, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Make sure you go ahead and like up this video. Hit that subscribe button. And I am out. Peace, y'all. Like